Hello and welcome to another Raggy's uh, craft beer review. So, uh, tonight is, this is the local beer review. Just sort this out because uh, oh, I can't change the settings, can I? Bugger. Is that the settings? No? Mm. It's a bit darker than what I intend. I normally put the light on around the back, but hey ho. We'll go. So, from Sauce House, and it was lovely to actually meet Mr. and Mrs. Sauce House down at the Robin Hood Beer Festival while I was on the Navigation Brewery Bar. And not that I could absolutely hear everything that was being said because the music was absolutely rocking, but it was nice. Craft Beer Brewers from Nottingham, from the Ruddington area, Rushcliffe area, Nottingham. I used to work there as a gardener. So, um, and I'm still a gardener, obviously. So this is a light malt body and dry hopped with earnest hops. Schools out is a fresh IPA. It's perfect for those warm sunny afternoons. And uh, the funny, the weather is actually quite warm and sunny at the moment. In fact, tomorrow it's going to be like 19 degrees. How crazy is that for this time of the year? So responsibly sourced, carefully crafted and... Um, you know, they use hydroponics. I absolutely love what these guys do, um, Mr. and Mrs. Sauce House and their partners. They've got a bit of a relationship going on with Castle Rock Brewery at the moment, which is amazing. Um, good to see Castle Rock bouncing back. You know, I think Castle, I love Castle Rock Brewery, um, my local brewery, local big brewery, should we say. So here we go. I'm going to try and get back to the one local, localish anyway, because not they don't have to be too, overly too local, but certainly localish. One local craft and maybe a trad beer, and uh, when when not one of them is available, a cider, a lager, and you know just to keep this going. Um, variation is king. I don't do the beer reviews for views, as you would have noticed, because half the time I don't get many views anyway. So it is what it is on that side of things. Um, so, as you can see, golden, a slight haze on there, you, you would say. Um, Five mils of head, good carbonation going off. Right, I took the paperwork on the floor, which was a bit of a dumb move because I can't see it now. <clears throat> and uh, if you know me, you'll know that I've got the crappiest memory going. Yeah, fresh IPA, light malt body, okay. So, did it say 6.9%? Oh, I am terrible. Ugh, one does apologise. Oh, I've got a belt on to protect my back because I'm getting old. 6.9%. So, yeah, I did re I did remember it properly. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. These things happen, yeah. Can't always remember everything, can you? Um, I get like a fruity, biscuity nose on this. Is that what I'm supposed to be getting? I don't know. Some, you know, sometimes I doubt myself and what I get. And I get certain things and it's like, did I just get that? And, uh, hmm. Right, here we go. Certainly malty, obviously. You know, that's a, that's a, that's a given. 6.9%. Uh, um... It was great to see Sauce House on keg over at Robin Hood Beer and Cider Festival. Um, I do hope the Beer and Cider Festival people, you know, remember this next year and, and other local breweries and local beer festivals remember this. And, uh, you know, we need, we need to promote our locals and uh, give, give everyone a bit of a bump now and again. 
It, and I, I've said this before on the channel. If I was, not that I've got the money, obviously, but if I was to win enough money to a retire, <laughs> and uh, maybe not, because I'm not, I'm not, a, I need to work. It keeps the brain active, but certainly to open up a, a micro pub slash tap room, I would, and you damn well know there would be there would be a plethora uh, of locals. And you damn well know this as well, that um, that you'd know about it all over social media. <laughs> oh, why won't I? Yeah. But in any case, to the bit. I suppose in some ways, this this you would say this is a more of a traditional IPA rather than a full-on craft beer IPA. 6.9% um, nice strength. Uh, certainly uh, um, the sort of strength I don't mind. If, you're being, if I'm being serious. I, I do try and be serious. Now and again. Ooh. It's tasting absolutely spot on, nonetheless. Um, yeah, really interesting to see where the, where these where the good Mr. and Mrs. Sauce House go from now. Um, I did follow their adventures abroad. But when you follow people, you you know it comes up on your feed. Uh, although, you know, let's be fair, social media these days is so hit and miss. Yeah, <laughs> this algorithm, them algorithm. Why I keep getting Derby fans on my facebook page it's like it's somebody on facebook trying to wind me up one i never have never will give an absolute monkeys about derby and i'm trying to be polite um we all support who we support fair play at least throw stuff that's nottingham based at me certainly not from derby there was everton early and i'm like oh come on taking the mick check something that's family towards me and this is the thing i hardly ever see anything from family it's like social media has gone to hand a pan instagram you get spammed to death by these promote it on this channel or you get people messaging you and it's like yeah what do you want and or being friends and it's like and then they go hi and it's like yeah what <laughs> there's one earlier and it's something like making money uh, and it's like one, while I'm not gullible. Two, never would anyway. Far too tight to send to give anybody money, you know. Got enough bills to pay myself, you know. And uh, yeah, it's a funny world. Really a funny world we live in. But nonetheless, here we go. So, great to see, got this from adventurebeer.co.uk. It's gone slightly hazy. So, there is a sediment layer in the bottom. So, that's something to take notice of. There's most bottles, there's going to be a slight sediment. If it's a bottle conditioned beer, you will get that. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the beer. And in a lot of ways, you, you get the taste, the full taste. Uh, that, that sediment layer actually contains probably the best taste. Certainly, certainly when it's my own brew. Um, that I will put to the thing. So, let's go a bit further. Now, I don't know what, what hops do what, and I don't profess to know, and, uh, you know, it is what it is for me. Um, a bit darker on this review tonight. I didn't set it up properly beforehand, so I do apologise for that. Um, a crisp, refreshing... Easy to drink, 6.9%. Oh, going down an absolute treat. Um, oh. uh, 
and it'd be interesting to see where Source House go from from in the next year. Hopefully, other breweries will will you know invite them for a collab, and uh, I'd love to see that. Although <coughs> they never invite me, so yeah, <laughs> is what it is, isn't it? I'm only a beer reviewer, no special, and I am no special. But uh, I'm a fantastic gardener, mind you. Proper decent gardener. Well, I think I'm in a way, you know, in the grand scheme of things. Um, and a nice person, don't get me wrong. I, I try to be, at least, you know. And uh, the winter's coming up, and the, the projects for the winter now are taking place. And um, the jigsaw puzzles are moving into place. I, I've got plans at both workplaces to enhance move forward plus the sites if anybody's ever watched if anybody's ever watched Walt Disney and the life of Walt Disney you know about him and um, Disney was never he said Disney will never ever be complete the parks um, we will always strive to move forward to be better to create more to, to a never-ending cycle of improvement that is the ethos. Same with beer. That ethos goes into beer making. Never ever satisfied. Keep moving forward. Yes, keep some core beers for those who love those core beers. But keep pushing. Keep moving forward. And in my in my job, you know that's that's what I want to do. And. Um, and the added impetus that I've got my wedding vow renewal next year in July. Daughter's wedding at the other workplace in September. So, wow. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you, you get your bum into gear and get these things done. Will I do it? Hell yes, of course I will. No chance. Never never doubted myself. Not one iota. If it's going to be amazing, if, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to push it to the limit. I'm going to grow stuff all winter long. I'm going to create the best kitchen garden. Um, why wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. My reputation. You know. So if it's got to be a mate. It's got to be as best as I can do. Albeit down to the weather. Because obviously the, the, the one, the one uh, factor that's not in my. Especially this year. Is the weather. The weather's been an absolute mess this year. But hey ho. You know. You can't win them all can you? So, really enjoyed this. 6.9% got me talking. I still think I'm getting light malt, a slight fruitiness, a slight biscuity element on, on the nose. On the taste. Pretty much similar, actually. Uh, schools are out. They are out. So, I have rang the wife this morning. Half past seven. Rang her up, no answer, and I'm thinking, okay, maybe she'll ring me back. Five to eight, rang her. No answer, and I'm thinking, oh dear, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Bollocking, you know, red card. It's here somewhere. Uh, yeah, red card. 25 past eight, she rings, you rang. And I'm like, oh, oh. Um... And she was all right, and she was all right when I got home. And as I'm leaving work, I'm driving out. There's a little nurse, there's a little school next to work, um, and there's no cars there. And all of a sudden, ding, 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 ding. All of a sudden, I clicked on that one. She was having a laying, so you know, because she's not at school, she's got the little ones at home. She's having a laying, and uh, and then I clicked, and it's like, oh, and sometimes. You know, with mental health and stress and anxiety, sometimes wait, don't think that something's against you. You know, hold back and wait. And if something does come off, you know, if you've been, you shouldn't have done something, you shouldn't have apologised or, or, you know, don't just jump the gun. Because sometimes you can think you've done something and you haven't. And for everybody who suffers mental health, they, they think they've upset somebody. And that person's took no offence whatsoever. 
but they just ain't got back to you in time. Something of note there. And that's more to myself as well than anybody else. So yeah, 6.9%. Um, for me, more of a traditional IPA for me. Don't know if it is. I'm only giving it my viewpoint. It's tasting blooming nice. That's 6.9%. Certainly going down nicely. I need to pick a big beer for the next one now. Just to, you know, is what it is. But yeah, for me, good 4.3 out of 5. Would I drink it again? As always, the question, yes. Yes, I would. Would I see it again? You never know. You never know. Uh, small breweries will do their beers. And if the beer sells well, or there's lots of good feedback, they will do it again, I would assume. Um, it's, I mean... With Source House, it's all about trying and seeing what sticks and seeing what doesn't. Same with gardening, same with most jobs, really, you know. Um, but, yeah, you're doing great, guys. And that's the main thing. Got it from Adventure Beer. Again, Adventure Beer, an amazing uh, beer company based in Nottingham. Serves the East Midlands. But if you're looking for Nottinghamshire, Derby, Leicester beers, Lincolnshire beers as well, um, check out Adventure Beer. That's all for this beer review. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Cheers.